Hello, I'm David Vaught, and today we'll be talking about basic animation sets. Uh, to begin, you need to have a biped in 3ds Max. So once we have our biped in there, uh, it's good to note that normally you would have already had the uh, character mesh created for the biped to be stuck to, so you'll know the size and everything like that. All right. So once we have our biped in here, we're going to take it over here at the top bar into the motion tab. Uh, in the motion tab, you want to make sure you are not in the figure mode. If you're in the figure mode, it will not create properly. So, once you make sure you're not in the figure mode, you come down here to Auto Key. Uh, by turning this on, it will allow you to create a keyframe for every movement you make to the uh, biped. All right. So, uh, we want to start this off by putting our uh, biped into a starting starting position do this we'll just kind of do a basic little wave here but we will start off with it kind of by his side I mean not right there but okay yeah, that's good all right so as you notice this put a keyframe down here in the bottom all right so to create the next part of the movement you will slide the slider over it doesn't really matter where you slide it over but for the purposes of this we're just gonna go to frame six and once you're in frame six, you can take your biped, move him up. Okay, that moves his hand up. And if we go through this, you'll see the animation of our biped lifting his arm. Okay, let me move it out to 10. We're gonna go up and over, then over to 14, and we go over again. This will create our basic little wave. And if you wanted, you could have the hand coming back. Okay. Once we have this done, you can then take your mouse over to... Oh, copy and paste. <laughs> this will allow you to create a new set. So we already have something here. Let's just delete that out. Uh, you'll want to come over here to Create Collection to start off. Let's say test one. Once uh, you've created your collection, this will open up the ability to use the copy pose or copy posture if you're using that, or copy track. Basically, the difference between these copy posture will only save out the body part you have, so right now it would only save out the hand. Copy pose will copy out the entire uh, biped in this keyframe. And copy track will allow you to it will allow the program to copy down the entire animation what's ever in this keyframe down here. So for this purpose we're going to copy the track so you come over here copy track and that will bring up everything you see on the screen. Let's rename this movement one. Spell it right. Okay so once you have your track copied you can then take it up here to save collection Saving the collection, we'll call this test2. Uh, it's important that it's being copied out as a CPY, so it should automatically come up with that. Just hit save to whatever location you need to save it. And then you have your track selected out and ready for exporting. Thank you, and good luck.